They thought they could easily get their great reset. Little did they know. Little did they know. They thought they could easily have it. Little did they know. I've, I've been shocked by the amount of people who are, who are entertaining or believing you know, extremely incorrect, unfounded beliefs. And, you know, I've researched this area for a long time and I've been surprised by the data coming out more recently. Um, I, I don't think it's harmless. I think conspiracy thinking can be pernicious. Um, you know, it's a time we all need to come together and conspiracy beliefs typically divide. I'm tired of being abused. We're sick and tired of living in fear. We're sick and tired of being manipulated. And we ain't gonna do it no more. What we're finding uh, is in the wake of the pandemic that uh, conspiracy beliefs uh, may have gone mainstream, that they're no longer confined to the fringes. So around half the population isn't thinking in terms of conspiracy beliefs at all, but around a quarter are entertaining such thoughts another quarter are consistently thinking in terms of conspiracy beliefs. Uh, around one in ten people uh, seem to have a very high rate of uh, endorsement of conspiracy beliefs. Rumours and false information during a pandemic are nothing new. We've seen that for centuries. It's a really natural human impulse. What technology has done is it's enabled them to spread far more quickly and far more internationally in a way that is fairly unprecedented. Uh, Rumour can begin in Italy, one day and it can be across multiple continents a few days later as we have seen happen several times. What we've also seen is that the online space provides a really fertile environment for different conspiracy theories that already existed to merge and kind of centre around the pandemic. So we've seen pre-existing anti-vaccination beliefs, we've seen pre-existing concerns around 5G technology, we've been seen pre-existing uh, conspiracy theories about uh, New World Order type uh, conspiracies. These have all kind of merged and they've been brought together because they're suddenly all talking about one news event and the online space gives them the opportunity to cross over between each other. You know, it's, it makes you really paranoid because you think that everyone's against you. Like, the system's against you, the government's against you. And I was constantly preparing for like, the absolute worst scenario. Like, a new world order was going to happen. And I was, like, emotionally preparing myself for that. And it was just really scary because I was, like, when you're in that sort of, like, environment, your entire personality completely changes because you have nothing else to follow because nothing else matters except from this theory. And so she kept saying to me, like, oh, you know, this is, like, completely changed who you are, and this is, like, destroying you. And, you know, I think it was, like, almost, like, worse for her sometimes because she had to live with me, and I was only talking about QAnon. That's the only thing I talk about. Look what's happened to our people. Look what's happened to our country. We all must stand up now, every one of us. We must not consent to this. 